these people out here, Marty, like they have no idea the outside world exists. They may as well be living on the fucking moon. There's a whole lot of ghettos out here, man. It's all one big ghetto, man. Giant gutter in outer space. Yeah, that scene today. Man, that was the most fucked up thing I've ever caught. Here, let me ask you something. You're Christian, right? No. Well, what about that cross in your apartment? It's a form of meditation. Well, how's that? I like to contemplate the moment in the garden. The idea of allowing your own crucifixion. Okay, so you're not a Christian. What do you believe in then? I believe people shouldn't talk about this kind of shit outside work. Come on, Rust. Three months I couldn't get a word out of you, and then today, after what we've been through, really? Come on, do me a favor, I'm not trying to convert you here, okay? Look, Marty, I consider myself a realist. But in philosophical terms, I must call a pessimist. What's that mean? It means I'm not good at parties. <laughs> Let me tell you something, you're not that great outside parties. Marty, I believe that human consciousness is a tragic misstep. In human evolution, we became too self-aware. Nature created an aspect of nature separate from itself. We are creatures that should not exist by natural law. Oh, that sounds fucking awful, Russ. You know, we, we labor under the impression of a self, this secretion of sensory experience and feeling programmed with total assurance that everybody's somebody. But in fact, everybody's nobody. Whoa, calm down. If I were you, I wouldn't be going around saying shit like that. People around here don't think that way, okay? I don't think that way. You know, I think the honorable thing for us to do as a species is to deny our programming. Stop reproducing. Walk hand in hand into our own extinction. One last minute, brothers and sisters. Opting out of our ordeal. What's the fucking point of getting up in the morning then? I tell myself I bear witness. But the answer, obviously, is my programming. I lack the constitution for suicide. So lucky I picked today to get to know you better. Three months. Three months I couldn't get a word out of you. Well, you asked. Yeah, now I'm begging you to shut the fuck up. You know, Marty, there's a bad taste in my mouth here. Aluminum, ash. Like you can smell it in the cyberspace. I have an idea. What if we make this place a place of silent reflection from now on? Okay. <sighs> what should I bring for dinner? A bottle of wine would be nice, I guess. I don't drink. Oh, of course you fucking don't, Rust. Look, when you come to my house tonight, I need you to calm the fuck down, okay? Whatever bullshit you were just saying to me, drop it. Of course, Marty. I mean, what do you think? I'm some sort of maniac or something? All right, for fuck's sake. 